Hey, sweetie, why don't you bring that sexy cold call ass over here and hop in daddy's new whip? Excuse me? He was talking to me. Oh, look at that! He trips in his movies, but he can do acrobatics! I like that. Well, are you just gonna stare at these beautiful daddies, or are you gonna bring that big, fat bubble butt over here and go for a ride? That is not okay! You can't just talk to people! Oh my god! How many tons can this thing handle? We're gonna find out! But seriously, we don't have all day, so bring that perfectly carved pumpkin over here and I'll show you how to drive stick. Okay, this has gone on far too long. I'm not gonna let some burnt ass creep talk to me like... What's going on guys? Bart here with Tully Television and I want to thank all of you for stopping by liking, commenting, uh, subscribing, I hope that today is the day that we earn that subscription. Uh, if so, you hit it, hit that red subscribe bar down below. Every little interaction helps uh, our channel uh, because without you guys coming back and checking us out, um, new viewers, returning viewers, future viewers, only together can we go straight to the moon, baby. Um... I'm personally happy. Uh, I never thought I would uh, get to these levels of YouTube myself, even though some may not think that uh, I have, you know, a million subscribers or whatever, you know, or what have you that, uh, why bother, you know? But I think that sharing uh, interest and finding people with similar interests and thoughts and or different ideas about the same topics I'm talking about are pretty cool. And uh, whatever size that channel is, I appreciate it so, so much. So thank you guys. Um, I hope that I can continue to entertain you, uh, maybe inform you, uh, maybe add some perspective you have may not have had to things. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, if you have a different perspective, let me know. Um, you know, that's the that's one of the best things about these type of videos for YouTube is that, for the most part, no one's really wrong in their opinion about the movie, because a lot of this is subjective, right? Art is supposed to be subjective. Uh, there's a ton of, for instance. Um, the Mona Lisa, right? That's considered a masterpiece, but there's probably people out there that are like, ah, that's an okay painting, you know? Like, um, to them, they don't see the nuances of things because of that painting because they just don't, and that's okay. But I'm uh, babbling long enough today. Um, I think I'm going to uh, wrap up this year's spooktacular uh, movie reviews because Halloween is basically tomorrow at the time of this recording, uh, Halloween 2023 anyway, and I don't really know if I'm going to get to drop another spooktacular review uh, uh, tomorrow, but today I want to uh, for sure wrap it up and then... Uh, you know, get back into it for next year. So, today's spectacular review is A Nightmare in Elm Street, one of my personal favorites. Uh, was released November 16th, 1984. So, around Thanksgiving, a couple weeks after Halloween. And um, I'll go through the cast before I go through uh, what the movie's about. I'm sure a lot of you have an idea on... Um, Night, what Nightmare on Elm Street is anyway. Uh, Robert England, of course, is Freddy Krueger. Uh, Heather Langenkamp as Nancy. Johnny Depp, if I'm uh, not mistaken, his first movie role here as Glenn. 
the legendary John Saxon as Lieutenant Thompson, Nancy's dad. He's been in a ton of movies. Um, Lynn Che, this was actually her first movie, too. She had a small part in it as the teacher because she was involved, I believe, romantically with someone in the process of making this movie that was, like, uh, in charge of making the movie. And she also is a horror icon, and she finally got uh, more recognized with the Insidious movies, but this was also her first movie. So interesting to uh, interesting fact that two actors started uh, their on-screen uh, dominance, so to speak, with this movie, Nightmare on Elm Street. We have Ronnie Blakely as Marge Thompson, uh, Nancy's mom. Amanda Weiss as Tina. Uh, again, another friend of Nancy. Uh, Glenn is Nancy's boyfriend. And Rod, to finish up the group of friends, is played by Jesu Garcia. If I mispronounce your first name, I am sorry, sir. It's unintentional. But Freddy Krueger is about um, school janitor who uh, got accused of not doing nice things to children at the school he worked at. And when the parents caught gist of this, uh, they all tried to get him arrested, but that didn't work out, and then they decided to take justice into their own hands and tracked Kruger down and basically burned him alive. And they uh, kept his uh, glove that had the claws on it and kept it tucked away at the Thompson house. And then years later, uh, from this incident, uh, the children, the teenage children of these parents started uh, basically dying uh, of unexplained uh, scenarios, which led to some uh, to believe that maybe it was through their own hand that they were doing this to themselves. But uh, Nancy and her friends soon discover that it's uh, Freddy Krueger come back to take his revenge on uh, the residents of Elm Street and is taking the children out through uh, their dreams. And where it, there's a lot of cool parts in this movie. I think one of the cool parts is where Rod, 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 uh, Rod, and Tina, who are boyfriend and girlfriend in this movie, are like relaxing in, in, in bed and stuff after, you know, fooling around or whatever. You know, typical couple stuff, uh, talking about their future and this and that. And um, Freddy Krueger winds up attacking Tina through her dreams. And uh, Rod is seeing the injuries in real life happening to her as she's being flay flayed across the room. And of course, everyone thinks that it's him that did it, did this to Tina, but uh, Nancy knows better. And she tries to convince her father that Rod is not like this because Rod is kind of like the local, um, I'm not going to say like a, a two-bit hood or anything like that, but... You know, he's the uh, high school guy that's a little fast, right? He's smoking cigarettes and drinking and stuff. And, you know, because he's doing this stuff, uh, everyone just thinks then he just is like an uh, asshole, right? Uh, jerk and did this to Tina. But we know as the audience that he didn't. It's very clear ahead of time that uh, this is uh, Freddy Krueger. Um, there's a... The little nursery rhyme that is played in certain scenes uh, that is sang by 
a group of young girls in uh, white dresses as they're playing jump rope or whatever. And it's one, two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, you better shut the door. Five, six. Um, five, six. Ah, oh, man. I forget what five and six was. And seven and eight, you better stay up late, right? And basically, they're giving you clues on how to try to avoid Freddy Krueger in the dream world. And another cool scene I thought was in this movie was uh, the bathtub scene where Nancy is relaxing in the bathtub and then you see Freddy's claw hand coming up in between her legs, right? Which is like, oh man. Another cool scene in this is when Glenn, uh, Johnny Depp's character, bites the big one and he gets sucked into his waterbed and then it gets uh, all... The blood and water gushes up, and finally it's up to Nancy uh, to discover the truth and a way to fight Freddy. Uh, during the movie, she discovers that she can drag things from the dream world into the real world. And she thinks that if she can grab Freddy from the dream world to the real world, she can better uh, get rid of him that way. And through various traps and stuff that she set throughout the house, uh, she seemingly had uh, defeated Freddy Krueger. Um, and it was because she stopped believing in Freddy Krueger at the end, and he disappeared. So now uh, she thinks everything is great and the movie wraps up with her meeting her friends outside and we kind of know that this is another dream sequence because they're all gone. And so as she gets into the car and her mother's waving her by, we see Freddy Krueger dragging the mother through this window in the door and Nancy, uh, Nancy's friends start to drive off in the car with Nancy. And then she's like, no. And that's where the movie ends. And uh, I'd have to say that for the most part, even though uh, Michael Myers' uh, Halloween is, one of, is my more favorite franchise, this definitely has given me... Uh, some late nights of staying up and being afraid of good old Fred Krueger, right? Um, just the look is iconic. The Burton melted face. Uh, Robert England's wit in this movie and in his role as Freddy is phenomenal. Uh, he has like a ton of one-liners that just really stick. And... Um, yeah, I just think that if you're a horror, horror fan and uh, you haven't seen this movie, definitely check it out. Or if you haven't seen it in a while, check it out even then still, man. Go back and revisit a classic. I think that there's no wrong time to watch A Nightmare on Elm Street. It spawned a ton of uh, sequels, even spawned a reboot, which... We won't really talk about here. <laughs> it was a good effort, but uh, fall, fit, um, fell short, unfortunately, of the original run of Freddy Krueger, uh, Robert England's performance. And I think that uh, you can tell Wes Craven, who made this uh, movie, put a lot of time and effort into making this look as realistic as possible and as scary as possible. And he himself has become a horror icon himself. Uh, everyone who's come out of this movie, for the most part, has been known or uh, have become an icon themselves in certain genres of movies. Um you know, Nancy's one of the more famous uh, last girls, right? 
uh, a scream queen up there with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, right? Um, yeah, I think that if you really want to uh, see a movie that will really capture the essence of horror and uh, spooky season time, Nightmare on Elm Street will be your movie. But you let me know down below if this is, you know, something that... <laughs> I stick on my hat the whole time there. That's funny. I'm going to leave that in. Um, yeah, it, it, you let me know down below if you think that this was the best Nightmare on Elm Street movie to be made. Or do you have... Do you like Freddy's Revenge? Do you like... Uh, Dream Warriors, the Dream Child, right? The Final Nightmare. There's so many uh, decent uh, Freddy Krueger movies. A New Nightmare. So many decent Freddy Krueger movies to choose from. I think that you'll find one that is right up your alley. The kills are great. Uh, the one-liners are great. And the acting is done uh, splendidly by Robert Englund and... Uh, by Nancy, um, I think that uh, they really had a great chemistry for the most part of the movies they did together, and uh, really they put time and effort into this, and it really shows, so I think that those reasons alone will be uh, reasons enough for you to enjoy this movie, but that's my thoughts for now, you let me know down below. And until next time, peace, snookums.